What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to download songs from Google Play Music right onto your SD card. What makes this even more awesome is the fact that you can also download all access songs, provided you subscribe to the service. Now this one does require root, but that's not hard at all if you follow my tutorial that's linked out in the article below. The app behind all this is made by developer David Schulte, and it's called Play Music Exporter. Unfortunately, you can't download this app from the Play Store for obvious reasons, but I've got a link to the APK over in the full tutorial. Just make sure you have unknown sources enabled under Settings, Security, and once you've got the installer file downloaded, just tap the notification to start the install process. From here, hit Install, and when it's finished with that, press Open. Play Music Exporter will ask for super user privileges at this point, so grant it those. Then you'll be taken to a list of all the songs that you've either saved for offline playback, or the Play Music app has built up as cache. And it's really simple out of the box to download a song that's cached or pinned. Just tap the album entry, then you'll see all the songs from that album that are stored on your device for offline playback. From here, just tap the song and it'll be saved to the music folder of your SD card. These songs are actually on your device already, but the MP3s are hidden deep in a randomized directory tree and the file names are deliberately obfuscated. Play Music Exporter cleans all this up for you automatically naming the file in a traditional artist album title format and placing it in a neatly organized folder on your SD card where you can get to the songs easily. And it even saves the ID3 tag info, complete with album artwork. But if you want to customize the way the file is named, among other things, start by tapping the settings button up at the top right. Here you can change the save location for your exported songs, or you can even change the folder structure or the ID3 tag settings. But the coolest option in here is the one labeled Show All Access Tracks. If you enable this one, any song that you play using your All Access subscription can also be downloaded. To make these songs available, you'll have to either play them once or save them for offline playback using the Play Music app. But once you've done that, you can save All Access songs to your SD card just like the songs you've uploaded yourself to Play Music. So this will really come in handy if you're looking to build up your MP3 library, to say the least. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy gadget hacking.